let's go through the process of installing and using an app from the Equit App Market. We'll use Easy Contact Form for this demonstration because its functionality is very visible for those of you who are doing this for the first time. We could find Easy Contact Form under the Tools section, but let's use the search bar to try that out. Type in Easy Contact Form. And you'll see it narrows down our options as we're typing. It gives us several apps that fit this description. Of course, the first result is the one that shares the exact name, Easy Contact Form, and that's the one we want, so we'll click on that. And here we have a little bit of information about Easy Contact Form. And to install this, as you can probably guess, we're going to click the big blue Install button. Then it tells us what this app is going to do. From here we can cancel it or install, and we will install. And that takes us to the settings page for Easy Contact Form. And if you look at your address bar, you'll notice that we're not on equid.com anymore. That's okay, we're temporarily off-site for the Easy Contact Form settings, and we'll go back to Equid in just a minute. You'll notice at the top here, we have a number of tabs for different aspects of the Easy Contact Form app. We're not gonna look at all of these because this is not meant to be a deep dive into Easy Contact Form. This is just to take a look at the general process of installing and using an app on your store. So we will look at the Customize Fields tab, which is the most important part of Easy Contact Form. This is where we have the fields that the customer will fill out. First, we'll fill in the recipient email address, which is the person who will receive messages from the contact form. So that's gonna be our email that we set up our account with. Of course, you can change that if you want. Then we go down to Add and Edit Field Names. The first one is the Name field with the label Your Name. Notice we can change this to whatever we want, and it will change that text inside that text field. I'm gonna keep it as your name, so that's perfectly clear what we need. Next is the customer's email address, which is of course important so that we can get back in touch with them. Then we have the subject field, and notice that this one is grayed out. That of course means it's disabled. If we click on it, we do enable the subject field. And notice that it's green now. If we click on it again, it stays, and now we have a red box with a check mark in it. In this particular app, and other apps will handle this differently, but for easy contact form, if we do this, then that means it is required. Notice these fields have a red star in the top right-hand corner. That means they are all required. The name field is not because it's not vitally important that we have the customer's name. What is vitally important is that we have their email address so we can get back in touch with them, and that we have their message because that's the whole point of the contact form. We currently have that for subject because we just toggled that on to take a look, but we're gonna disable the subject field altogether by turning it gray. I'm doing this because I'm gonna assume if a customer is contacting me via the contact form, I want them to have to do as little work as possible. So that's one less field that they have to fill in to get in touch with me. Then down here, we have the label for the message form. We have a few other things here we can add. Then we have some premium options, which is, of course, if we're using the premium version of Easy Contact Form, we can do things like add custom fields, allow customers to add attachments to their contact messages, and so on and so forth. Right now we're gonna keep things how we have them. So we're gonna go up here and click Save. And we'll look at one more tab, this Customize Form tab right here. When you click on that, make sure you scroll back up to the top. And this Customize Form tab essentially changes the visual appearance of the form. So we can change the background if we want. We can customize various text. So for the send button, which is right here, we can change the text of that button. We can change the icon. We can even change the button color. We can change the form title from contact us to something else. We can change the form description. How can we help you? As well as the thank you message that the customer receives after they send us a message from the contact form. Once we have that the way we want it, we'll save. And then as this tooltip shows us for this particular app, we need to turn it on for it to start working. So right now we've customized it, but we don't have it turned on for our store. To do that, 
We'll click on this. And then it asks us to refresh our website. So we'll go over here and click that. And that takes us back to our Equid store. And notice down here on the right hand corner of the screen at the bottom, we have this contact us tab. And if we click on that, our contact form pops up. So we can fill in our name, our email address. Of course, this would be the customer's email address as they're filling this in. And then the message. Click send, and we get our thank you message. So in just a few minutes, using the Equid App Store, we've extended the functionality of our Equid Store by adding a contact form so that customers can get in touch with us with any problems or questions very easily. Of course, there are a lot of apps on the Equid App Market that do a lot of different things. I'm gonna go back here and back up a bit, back to our Equid Dashboard. And it's important to keep in mind that out of all these apps, of course, some are gonna be more complicated, some are gonna be simpler, depending on the type of functionality the app is providing for the store. One more thing before we go. Down here under Apps, notice we also have this My Apps option. If we click on that, this will show us all of the apps that we have installed on our Equid Store. This is an easy way to find various pieces of functionality that we've added through apps, and then open them to customize that component of our store. So through that My Apps page, we can revisit any of these apps at any time and make changes as necessary. So now you see how you can make your Equid Store even better by taking advantage of the Equid app market.